Hello everyone, my name is Ya Jin Chu and I am a postdoc at the National Taiwan Normal University on Dr. Gui-Jun Li Chen's laboratory. My background is in neuron science with a focus on drug discovery and molecular mechanisms for treating neurodegenerative diseases. So I would like to present today our paper recently published in Aging US Journal, Volumes 14, Issue Number 18, entitled Novel Trunk B Agonist, Activate Trunk B, and Downstream ERG and AKT Signaling to Protect A Beta GFT SHS YYS cells against A Beta Toxicity. Alzheimer's disease, in abbreviation AD, is the most common form of dementia, and ABA deposition is one of the early events in AD pathology. The accumulation of misfolded A-beta proteins causes neurotoxicity, which leads to apoptosis. As a result, clearing of aberrant A-beta aggregates has been considered as a therapeutic approach to moderate disease development in AD. Trump B receptor activation has been linked to improved memory formation and storage, as well as neuroplasticity, neurogenesis, neuroalgos, and neuron survival. Upon trunk B receptor activation, ERK and NKT phosphorylated PrEP to activate transcription of genes implicated in these functions, such as BDNF and BCL2. Previous studies have shown that BDNF transcription and protein expression are reduced in the hippocampus, cortex, and mainly basal ganglia of AD brains. Several preclinical studies using different AD mouse models have shown that enhanced BDNF expression protects neurons and improves cognitive performance. However, the poor variability of BDNF, such as the short half-life in plasma and the limited blood-brain barrier permeability limits its use. So the discovery of new small molecule agonists of the trunk B receptor is a potential substitute for strategy for Alzheimer's disease. Our previous study have found that a novel coumarin derivative, LM31, displayed neuroprotective benefits in A-beta GFP expressing SHS5 cells while upregulating the CRAB BDNF BCL2 pathway. In this study, we use chemical similarity search software tools to scan three online databases for LM31 analogous compounds and discovered four top scoring compounds LM DS1 to 4 as passport B agonist. As shown here, all LMDS compounds showed potential for binding to trunk B domain D5 by ducking computation. Additionally, all LMDS compounds inhibited aggregation and provided neural protection, including promoting neural alcohols and reducing reactive estrogen species, caspase 1, and acetylcholine esterase activity in SHS Y55 cells with induced A beta GFP expression. Furthermore, trunk B knockdown reduced downstream ERG AKT CRAB signaling and the neural alcohol promoting effects of these LMDS compounds. A more than LMDS 1 and 2 were further examined following treatments of ERG inhibitor U0126 or PS3 inhibitor autonomy. And the result demonstrates that the neural protective benefits of LMDS 1 and 2 are mediated by activating trunk B downstream ERG PS3 AKT and PrEP signaling. When effects of MNDS1 and 2 on trunk bean signaling were compared with BDNF, there is no significant difference in the extent of ERG, AKT, and PrEP activation between BDNF and MNDS1 over 2. Considering BBB impermeability is a key obstacle in treatment of brain disorders, we tested the BBB permeable of MNDS1 and 2 and both compounds were found to be BBB permeable by parallel artificial membrane permeability assay. Now we come to our main study findings. What we found is that two LM31 analogous compounds, LMDS1 and 2, may serve as the potential trunk B agonist to treat AD. This is supported by our results in a beta GFP SHS y 5 y cells, which show trunk B signaling activation, aggregation inhibition, Exodactive stress and caspase 1 and acetylcholine esterase reduction, as well as new alcohol promotion. Application of LMDS 1 and 2 to AD animal models are warranted to confirm the neural protection effects. Additionally, it will be informative in the future to study the pharmacokinetics of LMDS 1 and 2 
to provide insights for clinical studies. I will end my presentation by acknowledging Molecule Image Core Facility of National Taiwan Normal University, National RNA Core Facility of Academia Sinica for the technical assistance, National Center for High Performance Computing for providing computational resources for docking computation. Also, I would like to thank Aging News Journal for the opportunity to present our work. Thank you for your attention.